Dynamics GP includes a nice tool that allows you to reconcile your bank account to your general ledger. Now this is an additional step from your bank reconciliation that you would normally do to reconcile your bank statement to your bank information in GP. This takes it further and reconciles that bank information in GP to the general ledger. So let's take a look at it. So we're going to start at the financial area page and go to routines and then reconcile to GL. Brings up this window here. There's a number of modules within GP that you can reconcile to the general ledger. We're going to select the bank reconciliation here and we're going to select a particular bank book. So this bank checkbook here already has some information about it. It has the general ledger account that's associated with it. It also has a output file that Excel will use to show the results. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to process that. When I hit process, what it's going to do is it's going to go look at all the transactions in the bank reconcili reconciliation module and compare those to the general ledger. And here are the results in Excel. You can see that I've got a slight unmatched problem here. I've got these matched transactions right down here and above that I've got potentially matched transactions which I have none and then I've got unmatched transactions. I've got one here. This is the general ledger transaction but what I can do is I can click on it. It's going to open up information about that transaction from Dynamics and I can see it here and I can see the problem right away. This was a general journal entry that was created so automatically there's no corresponding bank uh, transaction for that so that's a problem right there. This whole reconciliation process is designed to easily allow you to look at discrepancies between your bank accounts and your general ledger transactions in your GL. And this is a very nice tool and because you can drill down you can not only see the differences, you can also help analyze the differences and make corrections as needed. This is an additional step in your reconciliation process at period end that's going to really help you create your financial statements and make sure that they're sound. So if you're not already using this, I think you should take a look at it because I think it will help you out quite a bit.